Hey guys, welcome to Back Talk Blend. I'm the host, Nicole Spiller for Mindset Go Mondays. Today we have some awesome guests for you guys. Sophie and Hannah, who are part of the cyclocross team for Steve the Bike Guy. So, do you guys want to tell them what cyclocross is? Um, so cyclocross is a kind of bike race. It's mostly off-road, like on, uh, in fields or on dirt, in mud, on rocks, on sand. So you um, get dirty. Yes, very <laughs> dirty. Um, you also go over obstacles such as barriers, which are just barriers, <laughs> and you just have to go over them. Um, you have to carry your bike over them, right? Yes, mm -hmm. you do not ride over them unless you like train for that. You can <laughs> jump over them, kind of. Bike really? On your bike. Can you guys do that? Nope. No. <laughs> Someday, maybe though, right? Someday. Yes. And you guys are sponsored by an ice cream shop. Um. Yes. yes. Everybody it's loves ice cream, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> love ice cream. Um, yeah. It's called Far Fars. Yes. Is that an ice cream shop in your town? No. Uh, no, it's by Plymouth in Duxbury. Oh, I've never heard of it. Do they have good vanilla? You yes. gotta judge the ice cream shop on their <laughs> vanilla. They have good vanilla? Yes. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite flavor besides that? I like Oreo. Um, Oreo's my favorite too. My favorite's coconut. Coconut, <laughs> wow, that's yeah. a different one. Ooh. So do you, have you guys met any famous cyclocross racers? Um, yes, we have met Ellen Noble. And that's yes. what this jersey is here, um, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Ellen Noble, Ellen Noble, we got I got this signed at one of her races. Um, it's a championship jersey. And this was actually at Steve the Bike Guy's Velo Studio. She came and talked to us, and she signed these for everyone who came. That's and awesome. It was really fun. And then these are called what? Um, cowbells. cowbells. No, I mean the actual jerseys, like the things oh, you guys are wearing. Oh, um, kits. They're kits. So you get a certain oh, kit for your team. Like, I'm wearing the Steve the Bike Guy kit. Um, and you get one for each team you're on. So if you're not on a team, you just might wear just like an athletic shirt or something. Cool. And is that the only kind of fashions that are involved in cyclocross? Um, pretty much, really. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So would you say that boys are more involved in cyclocross than girls? And how yes. do you feel about that? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I feel like uh, the girls are kind of missing out because it's really just so fun. You can meet like new people and it's really just a really fun experience, and a lot of people don't want to do it because they don't want to get hurt, but it you don't really get hurt. Um, the th thing she said about being scared to get hurt, if you don't take risks, uh. like, you're not going to do yeah, it. Yeah, you got to try, you gotta right? You got to try, and <laughs> um, it makes me so upset when I go to races, and I only see, like, five, four, three girls there. Or Sometimes maybe. we're the only ones racing. Yeah, like one time it was just us and one of our yeah. other cyclocross partners, just one of them, and it was three of us. Yep. And, <laughs> and that was really disappointing because yeah, I sad. was looking for more girls to be there. Cause yeah, like, what do you tell your friends when they say, what is cyclocross, like why should I do it? Well, what I tell my friends, um, first time I told them, I'm like, guys, I joined this thing called cyclocross, it's so much fun. They're like. You ride a motorcycle? <laughs> You're like, not exactly. <laughs> this is no. not motocross. <laughs> this is cyclocross. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's not really new, but no one really knows about it. So I feel like we should start to see more yeah. people come in. I think that we should get our friends into it. And it makes yeah. me so happy when some of my friends that like don't like biking at all are like, I think I'm going to try biking. What's cyclocross? So cool. How can I get into it? I'm like. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and everybody does it for different reasons, right? Like mm -hmm. you do it because you're really competitive and you do it because you think it's fun, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also like your friends sh should feel scared the first time they do it because weren't you just I mean, like course, a little bit yeah. nervous? It's, you know, it's a it's new experience. Nervous. It's very scary it's really the first time. It's very your first race. You go around the first lap and it's like, oh, I'm still getting used <laughs> to this. Second lap, you start to feel more comfortable. And then by the end of the race, you're just having fun. And then once you win a race, what does that feel like? Oh, that is awesome. That's the so best <laughs> feeling. When you get up on the podium, it feels amazing, especially when there's a lot of people there. Yeah, like and if there you're are racing like cameras. With, and, everyone's and you're like, pictures. I just did this. It's <laughs> awesome. 
<laughs> so then, how does it feel when you're riding alongside the pros? Wow. So, <laughs> so they like zoom past you and you're like afraid that they're gonna topple you over. They're so nice though. They're always they're like, like, keep going, good you're job, you I got believe. this. That's they, awesome. They're always like, I'm afraid to pass you. And we're like, but you're supposed, <laughs> like to, you're pass supposed to pass us. That's our race. Yeah, that's good though, that they're like really mm -hmm. nice to you guys. And these pictures that are rotating right um, here. Actually that, that's Ellen Noble right there. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Ellen Noble, she went to Europe, correct? Yes, yeah. um, she w raced in the World Cycle Cross Championships mm -hmm. in Europe. The and she's U also the USA U23 um, American Cycle Cross Champion. That's awesome. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And she's only like 20 years old, right? Yeah, she's yeah. only 20. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys met someone else that was famous too, right? Uh, yes, um, yes, Helen Wyman. And tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about Helen. Um, so she lives in Europe, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we know a little bit about her because at our first cycle cross race ever, uh -huh. our parents did um, high tea with Helen. I yes, think it's called. a like a it clinic thing. It was kind of like a clinic. Uh, they and they got raced a around the course with her, um, and it was really cool to just watch them ride because mm -hmm. we could see how they were riding yeah, and, we and what they of, did. Like, follow them because like this was our first race, so <laughs> we like tried to do exactly what the older people were doing because we were afraid that we we're gonna like mess up yeah but <laughs> the thing you have to remember is you can't mess up yeah technically yeah I don't trying know. though like, I mean, that's all trying that matters. is the most that's important part thing of it. Huh? yeah and speaking of falling you were talking about clipless pedals earlier okay <laughs> so, so there are these things scared. called clipless pedals which is really confusing because they are the shoes that clip into the pedals kind of like a ski boot right yes, yes. so um, your shoes are attached to the so pedals. It's kind of, the first time you do it, it's really hard because you have to twist your foot to get it off the pedal. And we have to do something called dismounting where we take off one foot and put it over the saddle and like ride on one pedal yes. and then just jump off and go over the barriers. So when you're clipless pedals, you're like, how am I supposed to get off? I yeah. am clipped into my bike. You just kind of keep going and going and you can't get your foot out of the pedals. And you just the first time I fell, my, I'm like, darn it, I'm never gonna get this. And my mom's like, everyone has a clipless pedal story mm -hmm. about falling down. Yeah. And you yeah. just made your no story. No one's ever done it without falling. I know. I went skiing and I definitely could not get the hang of the just the ski and the ski boot thing. And that's probably a lot easier than the clipless <laughs> pedals, I would imagine. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah. So what is your favorite part during the race? Um, I'm going to say my favorite part during the race is the very technical <coughs> parts. So like the parts where you go like in and then out. I like love those parts because it gets me all like pumped up. Like I am doing this. This is awesome. And sometimes I'm sometimes I fall down, <laughs> but we have these like records for how many times you fall down yeah. during a race. It's like a competition. It's, the <laughs> more you fall, the better. <laughs> so like, um, I have the high score of eight falls per one ride. <laughs> oh God. It was very windy that day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Blame it on the wind. Yes. Very windy. I yeah. like going over the barriers because people usually kind of crowd around there. Uh -huh. And I like, um, it's kind of cool because I'm like very young for the sport and the adults seem to be very encouraging and they're like, go, 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 you can do it. And it's really cool to have a bunch of people yelling at you. Yeah, it's, I bet. <laughs> it's awesome when you're at the barriers and then there's just one person that's like trying to get over them yeah. and, like, and then you pass them. You pass them. And you're like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Passed you. I did it. <laughs> and what would you say is like your favorite memory from cyclocross ever? My favorite memory was meeting Ellen, of course. She's awesome and so, so nice. Um, and also meeting one of my best friends, um, Anna. Her name's Anna. She's one of our cycle cross partners. Oh, that's so and cool. And she's so nice. And we raced with her a lot. And it's just amazing. And mm -hmm. you guys' moms actually do cycle cross too. Yes. Right? yes. And yes. our moms do it. Our, par our fathers do it. Our, f well, not our friends, because they don't know what it is. <laughs> but one of our friends do, does it? Yeah, but it's a whole family affair. And then mm -hmm. Steve, the bike guy, is your dad, right? Yes, he's mm -hmm. my dad. So yeah. if you guys could give advice <clears throat> to everyone out there about why they should join cyclocross, 
no matter what your age, no matter if you're a boy or a girl, what would you say? Don't be scared to mess up because it's not possible. Like, you'll, you're always going to keep having fun, and you shouldn't just let one fall ruin that. You, you always have to keep going, keep going. And then if you keep going, then you will be rewarded. Oh, that's hard. There's so many good things. <laughs> um, one thing I would say to encourage people to try cycle cross um, is that it's just plain fun. <laughs> that's it's why do something if it isn't fun? It's like you don't have to win. It's like you don't have to win as yeah. long as you're having fun. And I think cycle that's cross so true. is one of the most fun sports <coughs> ever. Mm. <laughs> like it's just amazing and. I love how after every cycle cross race, there's always like tents up and you can have like fun and go around and see these different people and watch others race to encourage them. And it's just so much fun to watch everyone. And it's awesome. It's just love it. Well, <laughs> so I know much. I want to go out and try cyclocross now. <laughs> you guys have been awesome guests. Mm -hmm. And for Sophie and Hannah, I'm Nicole Spiller for Backtalk Blend. If you want to join us and be in my seat or their seat, then you should go to info at mindsetgo.com to take the first step.